Mr. Sam the Fuga Hooga Gardener. We just had a hurricane come through and I have a Ryobi generator. This one here is a 1800, 2300. Now I used this before in a hurricane and before that I had one of these monster big ones but the problem with those was I had to get like six five gallon gas cans a day to keep it running very expensive so I switched over to this small one over here which is plenty to keep two chest freezes going a refrigerator freezer going your TV your internet your modems lights in the house fans in the house things like that just not your hot water heater and your AC unit but it handles really great and I only put in like two gallons a day so when you do that you have to go get gas cans of fuel and put it in so after the hurricane you want to store this and you want it to pull start with one pull the next time you pull it out like it did for me this time and the way to do that is you want to drain the fuel, put it into your gas can, and then crank it. That'll start it up, and it will run out the gas in the carburetor. So it's real simple. Basically, Okay, so just remove your gas can top. I cut out the bottom of a milk jug. You could use a funnel if you want, but here's a milk jug. Just stick it in there. Open up your gas tank over here. Just lift it up, turn it over. When it's done, just go ahead and put the cap back on your gas can. Then go ahead and start up your generator, which I just started it. I ran it till it stopped. I didn't think about the video to afterwards, but I'll put it all the way up on cold start. See if there's any more in the tank. Okay, so I ran it on normal and it stalled. I just went ahead and put it up to cold start. That's the choke. So now I'm gonna run it a little bit more until it cuts out. You want all of that fuel out of the lines in the carburetor because that's how it's going to gum up and the next time you need it, it won't start. So like I say, it conked out on run and now I put it on choke. There it goes. And now just take this and shut it all the way off. That shuts off the fuel. So, just remember this. Some people, they drain the gas with a hose and siphon it. I just turn it over. You can do it any way you want. But the main thing is, when you put this on run, let it run till it's out. Then go ahead and put it on choke all the way up to cold start and let it run out again. Some people just leave it on run and when it runs out, they think there's no more in the lines and they think there's no more in the carburetor bowl, but there is. So switch it all the way up, start it. You just seen it, it ran until it's out. So now I'll put this in the house and hopefully we'll never have a hurricane again. But when we do, and when the power goes out, I'll have this, I'll put in new fuel, one crank, it will start. Okay, so hey, this is Sam the Frugal Hooga Gardener. Prepping for the next storm by putting away 
my generator for next time a catastrophe or a hurricane comes through. Give me a like, give me a share, subscribe to my channel. I posted some hurricane videos and I'll be posting more because I have a big mess, a lot of cleanup. Hope to see you soon.